Hi, good morning guys. My name is Maddie. I'm a 1L law student in Virginia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Today is Friday, the last day of my second week of Zoom School of Law. I've been going to classes online now for the last two weeks due to the coronavirus pandemic. So it's been a little bit of an adjustment period for that, but I think I'm finally hitting my stride. So today I have one class and a pretty busy schedule but I do want to get outside a little bit because the weather is beautiful and I feel like I'm getting cabin fever. So I'm going to try to film a little bit of studying outside today. I also have my final oral argument over Zoom today, so that will be interesting. So I'm ready for my oral argument. And by ready, I mean that I'm wearing yoga pants and slippers with a suit jacket and a dress blouse. I am the moving party in this. So that means that I start off the argument and then I reserve time at the end for rebuttal. So I think I have to speak for 10 minutes total and I'm probably going to reserve like two minutes. So I basically have eight minutes to present my whole argument and then I hear the response from the plaintiff and then I get to respond to their arguments at the end. I wanted to take a little bit of time today to talk about zero else who might be trying to decide where to go to school right now. It's been a couple years since I decided to go to the school that I go to. I actually applied in 2018, spring of 2018, and then I ended up deferring for a year. I think that some of the factors that went into my decision-making process still apply now, even in the midst of the coronavirus. So one of the things that I did when I was deciding where to go is I did a lot of law school visits. Now law schools are all closed, so for prospective students, it, that is not necessarily an option that you have uh, available to you right now. But there are still things that you can do that can assist in the decision-making process. I would recommend reaching out to the admissions offices for the schools that you're interested in to see if you can set up a meeting over Zoom or Skype or something like that so that you can still ask some questions and get a feel for what the school is like. Keep in mind that if you do get a meeting with an admissions dean, that you are gonna to wanna to dress just like you would if you were to be there in person. And so that means at minimum business casual, but more likely than not, at least put a suit jacket on. You can be business on top, party on the bottom, but anything that they would be able to see on camera, you would wanna look professional. I would view a meeting like that to be very similar to an interview in the sense that yes, you want to get into the school, but you also want to interview them about the school to make sure that the school is going to be right for you. And that requires doing a little bit of research and homework so that you can go into the meeting with questions ready and ready to answer their questions. When I did my admissions dean meetings, so for example, my school has several clinical programs that I hope to be involved in. And I didn't really know what a clinical program was, but I knew that the concept interested me. And so when I went in with my meeting with the admissions dean, I had very specific questions about those programs, which showed one, what I was interested in, two, that I had done my homework. 
and three, that I had expectations for my education and that I was also viewing the meeting as an interview for them as well. Another thing to think about is that when you do a law school visit in person, normally you would have access to a student tour guide to ask about their experience. And now that law schools are closed and you might not necessarily be able to go on a tour, you may think that that resource is unavailable to you. At the same time that you're communicating with the admissions office about setting up a meeting with a dean, I would also ask if you can set up like a Skype meeting or a Zoom meeting with a student who normally would be giving the tours. So a student who works for the admissions office. While they won't be able to lead you around and show you like the classroom and the common areas of the law school, they'll still be able to answer your questions that you may have about what professors are like, what the workload's like, what the environment and culture is like. And these are all things that you're definitely gonna to wanna to consider when you're making your law school decision. Trust me, there's plenty of law students sitting around right now who are very bored. I'm sure that there are students out there who would love to sit down with you over Skype and talk with you about their experience. I would also recommend doing some research about the area in which your school's located. In particular, if you're not from the area. Obviously now, travel is not advised, but I think that you can still do a fair amount of research to get a sense of what life's gonna be like at that particular school. Some things that I would recommend considering are the cost of living. Tuition is already expensive for most law schools. And if you're going to be living in a more urban area, cost of living will be more expensive. And that means rent, things like transportation, and if you have to commute, and if you do have to commute, how far? All these things add up over time and can make law school more expensive than it has to be. Another big consideration that I think tends to get overlooked sometimes is the culture of the law school. And this is a big thing to ask a student. So if you end up getting an interview with a student, I would definitely ask them about the culture of the school. Law school is notoriously competitive and it puts a lot of pressure on students that I, I think is kind of unnecessary. My school is, my school is a tier two school, so it's, not as competitive, but I do think there are other schools that are similar in rank, size, and performance to mine that are a little more cutthroat. I think that my law school has done a good job of creating a sense of camaraderie between students, and I don't find that it is overly competitive or cutthroat. I think that students tend to be more collaborative and work together, and I really enjoy that about my school, and I don't think that I would have as good of a time as I do had I gone to a school that's more every man for himself. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and <laughs> Nothing, why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I double them. I don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken. Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust you. I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bucket. And I'ma need all of my dollars on coping, so hand me the money, I divvy the pot. I'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune. I'm flipping the rock. I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why is you all on my phone like you got? <laughs> So a couple days ago, I decided that I wanted something, excuse me, sir. I wanted something to get a little bit more exercise and get me out of the house more. So I ordered rollerblades uh, and they came today. So I'm going to try these out and we'll see how it goes. So, 
problems, on problems, on problems, on problems, I solve them. I run through the money, depression be causing. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something that's why I ain't calling. Don't have depression, it's all that I wanted. The full and affection, I summon it up because I check out problems, on problems, on problems, on problems, on problems, on problems, I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling.